Coming up on today's episode of Airport Unlimited, Terrafugia plans to create 130 new U.S. jobs. Lawsuit over the annual Plains of Fame air show settled. And King Schools goes completely online. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's April 16th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Terrafugia created 75 new U.S. based jobs within the past 12 months and is on track to add at least another 50 more by the end of the year, according to the company. Geely Holdings Group acquired Terrafugia in fall 2017. Technology and innovation are at the core of Terrafugia, drawing in unique talent across departments. The recent jump in staff shows our commitment to breaking ground in the emerging flying car market, said Chris Jaron, CEO of Terrafugia. One year ago, we had less than 20 employees. With Geely Holdings' leadership and innovation in the automotive space, we are able to build the team we need to meet on-time deliverables. Terrafugia celebrates significant capacity expansion at its headquarters in Woburn, Massachusetts, with positions in engineering, accounting, human resources, marketing, and operations. The company also opened a new R&D division in Petaluma, California, where all new engineering designs and concepts are being created. Terrafugia predicts that a large portion of the expected growth will help the company bring the first practical flying car to market. After the break, the A321LR goes long with record-breaking flight. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The A321LR variant of Airbus's A321 jetliner conducted a record-breaking flight from Mai in the Seychelles Island to Toulouse, France, covering a total distance of 4,750 nautical miles in 11 hours. This was done in late March as a part of the A321LR's 100-hour flight test and certification program. To make flight conditions as realistic as possible while evaluating cabin systems, the A321LR carried 162 human heat replicating dummy passengers, in addition to its 16 member test crew. Elbit Systems LTD has completed the acquisition of the assets and operations of the privately owned U.S. company Universal Avionics Systems Corporation for a purchase price of approximately $120 million. Headquartered in Tucson, Arizona and operating in several facilities across the U.S., Universal Avionics is a developer and manufacturer of commercial avionics systems for the retrofit and forward fit market for a wide range of fixed and rotary aircraft types. Becker Avionics has received certification for the company's BXT 6500 Family Mode S transponder, which is designed specifically for single-aisle antenna applications across all fixed and rotary wing applications. This second version joins the BXT 6500 family's first certified Mode S transponder, capable of diverse and dual antenna operations. 
The BXC 6500 family will address all Mode S applications when the third version featuring TCAS 2 capability is available later this year. L2 Aviation has received its first approved Model List Supplemental Type Certificate for the installation of miniature quick access recorders and 4G cellular transmission modules for use on Part 23 turboprops and popular Part 23 light jets. The AML STC is now FAA approved and suitable for aircraft such as the Honda Jet, Pilatus PC-12, Beechcraft King Air, Phenom 100 and 300, and Part 23 Cessna Citations, among others. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Aviation enthusiasts will be pleased to learn that the lawsuit between Yanks Air Museum, Flying Tigers Aviation FBO, and Planes of Fame Air Museum has been settled, and the air show will go on this year. The settlement was reached with all parties interested in reuniting the aviation community. All parties have pledged to work together for the success of future air shows. We are happy to have reached an agreement so Planes of Fame Air Museum can bring to the aviation community one of the premier aviation events in the United States and the world, stated Steve Hinton, President of Planes of Fame. Yanks Air Museum has the world's largest collection of historic all-American aircraft. Yanks was created to share aviation history with everyone, and we look forward to displaying and flying the museum's aircraft at our home in Chino, said Charles Nichols, founder of Yanks Air Museum. Each year, the air show attracts thousands of visitors. With the lawsuit now settled, the county has approved May 5th and May 6th as the 2018 Planes of Fame air show dates. After these messages, King Schools goes completely online. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. After over 40 years spent evolving pilot courses from in-person delivery to VHS tapes to computer installations, King Schools has said goodbye to DISC and is delivering 100% of their pilot courses online. It means you can study on any device and your courses are always up to date, said King Schools' Martha King. The free King Companion app lets you download and take lessons offline, and when back online, your progress is automatically synced with King School servers and immediately visible from all other devices, said Barry Canoodala, King's CEO. Our customers made it clear that they prefer the advantages of online courses, so it was an easy decision to discontinue the computer-installed disk option. King has just rolled out a new online aviation library that puts more than 85 aviation books, cards, manuals, reference materials, and much more into one online package. The library provides lifetime access with no subscription charges and is continuously updated. The King Online Aviation Library retails for $79. Customers can also add a set of pilot gear to their courses with a new King School's Private Pilot and Instrument Rating Equipment Kits. The kits contain products such as IFR training glasses, kneeboard clipboard combos, information cards, and more. The kits retail for $49 each. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-niche.net. See you tomorrow.